So hey everybody, welcome to a new video. Um, I imagine Becky and Hattie are probably watching this, so if you are, shout out to you guys. Welcome to the video. Um, last year I made a lot of predictions about movies and about things I wanted to do. I'm going to now see how close I got to that, basically. This was going to go out later in the week, but the Christmas video is taking a while, so I'm going to... The next video is going to be a Christmas video, so stay tuned for that, it's going to be a very good video. Uh, you know, Hattie, if you're watching, or Becky, you're in that a lot, so stay tuned for that, okay? You're going to like that video. But now, I'm going to talk about movies, basically, so it won't be a bit boring. One of my first things was to watch 104 movies throughout the whole year. Um, I managed to do... Da -da 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 -da, 106. Boom! Easy. It, that's basically two. Oh, by the way, these are new movies. So if I watch a movie I've already seen, it doesn't count. It has to be a new movie I've never seen before. Now, I'm about to le read you that list. I'm going to try and do it as fast as possible, but be bear in mind there's a hundred movies I'm about to read out. It's going to be quite a while. Here we go. I'm not going to talk about them at all. Trolls, Minions. I messed up right. Trolls, Minions, Sweeney Todd, Mamma Mia, Les Miserables, Love Actually, Maze Runner, Social Network. It's kind of a funny story. Pokemon from 2016 movie. The CM Punk documentary, Plastic Ocean, um, Alone, Roman First Met, Black Panther, Shake of Water, Vampire Figures, Silver Lines Playbook, Role Models, Sex Tape, Tomb Raider, Game A Night, Coco, Downsizing, Zombie Land, Hair Spray, Judge, The First Time, Ready Player One, Ring Mans, Fifty Shades, Freed, Oz the Great and Powerful, Specific Grim, Uprising, Avengers, Infinity War, Daddy's Home, John Wick, Kick Ass, Kick Ass 2, Kissing Booth, Deadpool 2, Blockers, Love Simon, Last Samurai, Accepted, Jim Carrey uh, Special, Christiana Ronaldo Documentary, Age of, Age of 17, Sherlock Gnomes, Jurassic World 2, um, Fruit Loose, Before We Go, What's your number? I can't remember. Oh no, I do remember. I do. Uh, what's your number? No good. Layover. Ace Ventura. Vacation. Incredible two. Darren Brown. Miracle. Hereditary. Tank. Ant Man two. Scary movie. Inside Out. Jim Jeffries. Two thousand eighteen. Tom Segura. The Sig. Uh, the Sig. The, the Meg. Snowden. Imposter. Mummy two. Christopher Robin. Deadpool two. Super. Uh, Deadpool two. The uh, extended cut. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes two. PSI documentary. Pineapple Express. Predator. Solo. The Lord Horror movie thing that they make. Invention of Mind. Robin Hood. Not the new Robin Hood. The older one. Um, Remember the Titans. Great film. Warrior. Pursuit of Happiness. Grown up two. Be Final Story, American Psycho, Venom, Don't Brand, The Sacrifice, <laughs> Fantastic Beasts, the new one, uh, Brady Documentary, Seven, The Great Dictator, Claire Dictator, Raging Bull, Three Idiots, Casino Royale, Halloween, Improves, Shinta's List, The Deer Hunter, What We Do in the Shadows, that's a good film, uh, Her, Ellen DeGeneres, Documentary, wreck Ralph, Robin Hood, and Spider-Man Into the Spikers. Boom, that was a long, that was a long list. Sorry for that. But now we on to the funnier stuff. So, I now have to list a 1 to 10 out of those movies that I saw. But no, this is out of movies that only came out in 2018. So these are only movies that have been in the cinema. Um, in 10th, we have Fantastic Beasts, um, The Crimes of Grindelwald. It was a decent movie. It was a bit meh in some places, but overall I liked it. But um, I'm rating this out of how much I liked it as well. Not how much of a good movie it is, just how much I would rate it. These are my top 10s. In 9th, Love, Simon. I really enjoyed this movie. Um, it had a great story. I don't, I'm not going to explain all of them. But in ninth is Love, Simon. Easy choice. In eighth is Black Panther. I didn't like it as much as everyone else. I, I actually liked it at the time, but it's like, yeah, it's okay. Villain's decent, but there's not a great big fight at the end. There's not a great moment. It's just an, it's an overall well-rounded story, but it's a bit like, yeah, yeah, it's decent. Um, in 7th is Ready Player One. I know a lot of people hate this because if they've read the books they apparently didn't like it. I've never read the books. I liked it a lot, if I'm honest with you. I enjoyed it a lot. And it's a very cool con cool concept. In 6th we have Tomb Raider, which I would say is a risky one. You know, a lot of people didn't like that again. But me, I enjoyed it a lot. Great story, great characters, well told. And, a, and not, not a plot twist, but a good revelation in there. So it's really good. I like it. Uh, in fifth, I love this one, Robin Hood. I love Robin Hood. I knew I was going to like this one before I saw it, and I did see it. I understand why people hate this movie, but for me, I just really enjoyed it. It's Robin Hood, I know. In, fifth, in fourth, is probably, for me, the funniest movie, if I'm being honest. I laughed at this a lot. Tag. Very well done. I think... Watching it in the cinema really helped. It really helped to like just add to the funniness. It was me and Elliot in there watching it. A lot of fun. I loved Tag. In third, get into the spicy action now. In third, we have Deadpool 2. Which, if you ask me, could have been one. 
honestly. I did like Deadpool 2 a lot. Um, it was a lot, it was very, very funny. Very, very funny. It was a very good sequel as well. Not many times that you get a sequel as good as that. Um, it was just, it was a step in the right direction. I hope they make a Deadpool 3. Very well done. Deadpool is the best. Now, in second, I mean, it's two movies left, really. I think you could probably guess which two movies it is. Um, and you could probably guess the order. Uh, Alexa, what's the best movie of 2018? As of October, the best movie released in 2018 according to IMDb ratings is Avengers Infinity War with 8.5 stars out of 10, followed by A Star is Born with 8.1 stars out of 10. I haven't 10. seen A Star is Born. But, as Alexa said, Avengers Infinity War is second. Which is controversial, I know, and I feel like I'm going to regret that. But for me, Avengers Infinity War is great. Um, obviously, it's technic It's not really a two-parter, but, you know, the story's not really done, is it? I know it's a Thanos movie, I loved it a lot. Best uh, Marvel cinematic movie, uh, universe movie, sorry. Um, but, for me, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse just takes it, just by a little, little bit, it just overlaps it, and I think the animation, the story, the characters, it's just a perfect movie, it's not a 10 out of 10, and not that kind of perfect, but it's just so well made, I can't fault it, so for me, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is first, the best movie of 2018. Now, let's look at my predictions from last year. I said Game Night would be 10th, which I did like. It was a lot of fun. It, was, it, it didn't have a lot of amazing moments, you know. It, it didn't have any uh, super funny moments. So I, I, I know why, definitely why I didn't put it in there. But I knew why I thought it would have been in there. wreck it Ralph 2, it was good. I, I looked forward to it before I saw it. And then I saw it and I was like, eh. Well, it had some great moments and it had some great jokes, but the ending was like the giant Ralph, so it just didn't feel as good as the first one. That's why it's not in ninth. In eighth, I put Maze Runner, Death Cure. I actually liked that one a lot. It was a very well move, well made movie, um, especially compared to the second one. The second one wasn't that good. This one was a lot of fun. It had some good deaths in there, especially Newt's death, but it just wasn't good enough to make it into the top ten for me. It was very close, though, very close. Jurassic World 2, again, I didn't really hate this movie, I liked it. I said it was a good movie, it was a bad Jurassic Park movie, you know? It didn't feel like Jurassic Park at all. Yeah, it was about like, just a random movie with dinosaurs. But, that random movie with dinosaurs was good. Jurassic World and Maze Runner were probably 11th and 12th for me. They were very close to getting to that top 10. And 6th is Incredibles 2. Which I did like. I didn't dislike any of these movies on this list. But the reason why I thought it would be a bear is because I thought the first movie is so good. This movie is going to be amazing as well. I like this movie. But it's not as memorable as the first one for me. It's not as iconic and as, as amazing. You know, like Toy Story 3, that came back after a long time. And it was like, oh, this is exactly what we're missing. This is amazing. Was this is um, Incredibles two is a bit like Finding Dory where it's like okay it's these same characters it's good, but it's just it's just not the same it's just not good, it's not good enough as what it could have been, so that's not in it. Black Panther I thought was gonna be in fifth. That's because there's a lot of movies I didn't realize were coming out, you know I didn't know about Tag or Spider Man to the Spider Verse or even um Robin Hood, so that's why that got pushed down a bit. But overall I liked Black Panther. Fantastic Beasts I thought was being fourth. I feel like it was too populated with plot, so I think that's why I earned it. Uh, Ant-Man 2 is the only one that didn't make it onto this or anywhere near it. And that's just because it was just not as good. I don't think it... That was the one I was disappointed with. It was a decent movie, but like... Yeah, it's okay. It, it, I just didn't like Ant-Man 2 a lot, if I'm honest with you. And then in second I put Devil 2, and first I put Avengers. Which was right if it wasn't for Spider-Man, so... Overall, not not a bad prediction. For next year, though, this is where things get juicy. In tenth, Glass, which is 
sequel to Split, I love Split a lot. Glass is hopefully as good. Maybe a bit more interesting because there's more fighting. In ninth, Bla uh, Men in Black International. The two leads, I like them a lot, for uh, Ragnarok, amazing. Um, I haven't seen the original Men in Black, which I know will affect it in a positive way when I see this movie, because I won't have any uh, conflicting uh, uh, opinions about the other ones. I know a lot of people, they love the other ones so much, they already hate this movie. Boy, so I'm hoping Men in Black International is decent. In 8th is Captain Marvel. I feel like it would be very similar to Black Panther in the fact that it's just you know, it's going to be a good movie, but there's not going to be any major memorable moments from the MCU. It will just be a, a chill in between it. Like um, Ant-Man 2, I feel like it's just so close to a giant big movie, it's just it's going to be forgot about by the end of the year. Um, in 7th is Detective Pikachu, which is insane because that's probably going to be a bad movie. But I've always said, if they made a live-action Pokemon movie, I'd love it. It doesn't look too bad, and I'm actually kind of looking forward to watching it. In fifth is Zombieland 2. I watched the first one in April. I loved it. It was such a good movie. And I'm looking forward to watching the second one. It's the same cast, same kind of movie. It's just going to be a lot of fun. In fourth is the remake of The Lion King. I cannot wait to see this movie. Um, I love Lion King, it's one of my favourites, I think it is my favourite uh, Disney movie, and I'm hoping the, the, the remake is going to be just as good, so that's going to be four for me, it could get first. In third is Spider-Man Far From Home, I love Spider-Man, love Tom Holland, it's going to be a blast. However, in second is Toy Story 4, because I just feel like it's, gonna, it's I feel like I might cry. I heard that the, the guy who voices Buzz couldn't get his lines out because it was so sad he didn't say sad but it's implied it was sad so i feel like if the ending's spicy and if it's just classic toy story it's gonna be amazing like there's not been one bad toy story movie you know so hopefully this is i i can see this definitely getting second but in first is avengers endgame before i saw infinity war i was already looking to endgame more than infinity war because anything that happens in infinity war could get undone anything that happens by the end of endgame any deaths, any moments, that's staying, that's, that's stuck now. So I'm looking forward to this so much. Avengers Endgame is going to be crazy. Two no two nominees is Dumbo, which I, I haven't seen Dumbo a lot, so I, I'm not as excited. And Kingsman 3. When I just read a minute ago that Kingsman 3 was coming out in 2019, I was gassed, I was so excited. And then I found out Eggsy's not even in it. And now I'm like, oh, well, okay then. I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't know, I just feel like it's such a wasted opportunity. Anyway, now we go on to the non-movie stuff. Um, so my aims for 2018 was to restart my Japanese learning, which I had started. And I did restart it. Um, I didn't stick to it as much as I could have. Like, I did it consistently I definitely did it consistently like I can't put like a week ago I mean it's Christmas now so give me some credit but like a week ago I was still doing Japanese it's all good my aim for next year is going to be the same thing as like begin it and probably do it properly do it like practice the speaking practice the writing like this time next year I want to be able to speak to in Japanese properly um my other aims were to watch 104 movies spend time with Flo and Hattie oh that kind of voice cracked a bit Spent time with Flo and Hattie because at this time last year I had hardly seen him ever. You know, I saw him like three times a year. I spent time with him Boxing Day and I was like, you know what, they're my cousins, I want to see him more. I did do that a lot actually. I, I, I saw him a lot, especially in January. Uh, it did die down in March and then I saw him like every two months ish. I mean, lately it's been a lot more. So my aim for next year to follow up that, I think I definitely completed it, but my aim for next year would be not too not too much that they get bored of me or that the parents get annoyed but more consistent like every three weeks maybe every two weeks regularly so it's every at least once every month um hopefully i'm hoping that's the case because they're, they're great family members of mine in some ways i'm closer to them than i with my siblings so i'd like to see them a lot more than some parts of the year you know if you're watching hattie pay attention <laughs> I'm joking. Um, and then the last thing I said was have fun. 
And I definitely did that. I went traveling. I went to, um, you know, I went to see Emil and LT. I saw Hattie a lot. Um, I'm going to start to play a violin. I went to the gym with Elliot. It's just, it's all beginning to form up mostly. The next year is when it all forms together. And then the year after that is when everything is in place. Hopefully, that's the plan. You know, um, my aim for next year, I've got a lot of aims already, like resolutions, but my other aims just in general, like small ones like I just said, talked about. Um, see Hattie and Flo consistently, like I said, Japanese, get fluent at it, uh, learn a violin, and instead of movies, my aim is to just watch as many TV shows as I can. Because I found a lot of the time this year, um, I wouldn't watch a TV show because I was trying to get these 106 movies. Whereas now I'm hoping, you know, watch Black Cells, watch The Mentalist, just watch whatever I want to watch. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for watching, guys. I've been Jonas. I will see you next time. Boom. Bye.